Betsy Powers is downsizing from her current home. Finding a home within her budget where she and her dog Autumn will be comfortable is her goal. I'm moving because I'm getting a divorce and need to find a place on my own. So it's kind of intimidating and it's also kind of exciting. Having a dog means that Nancy has to consider her pet's needs when she's looking at houses for herself. I'm not real particular in some way about what I want. In another way, I really have some requirements that I need to have met. Uh, most importantly, I've got a dog who I show, and so there's a lot of equipment that goes with that, and I need room for all of that. And I have had just bred her when we decided to sell the house, and so she's got puppies on the way. So I've got to find some place that she's going to be comfortable and that the neighbors aren't going to mind a mom and five or six little babies running around and has a comfortable yard that's fenced. Other highlights of Nancy's current home include its hardwood floors, traditional brick fireplace, and crown moldings. Nancy also enjoys her comfortable home office, and she hopes to gain a new space suitable for her work as a counselor and hypnotherapist. A more functional kitchen is also on Nancy's wish list, since cooking is one of her passions. I really love to cook, and one of the problems in this house has been that the kitchen is a little bit constricted. It's a little bit like an alleyway, so to have one with a lot of floor space would be kind of cool, too. Despite some hesitation about leaving her old home behind, Nancy is looking forward to making a new start. The shutters, how much you like them on your own house? Yeah, yeah. they really the shows really well. Pretty color, and the roof looks really good. Yeah, it looks like the roof practically yeah. did. Yeah. The landscape looks pretty too. Mm -hmm. I like the fireplace. It's like brand new carpet. Oh, yeah, yeah, they just did everything new in here, didn't they? And they repainted and everything. Ooh, so I like that mantle. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Very nice. So let's go take a look. Having two realtors works to Nancy's advantage. Two sets of eyes are better than one when it comes to pointing out the benefits and drawbacks of each home. This is open, Nancy, so I was yeah, thinking for nice. entertaining, you know, that you've got a nice flow here. And you do have built-ins, you know, the mm -hmm. kitchen's nice. The, it's, uh, it just shows it's really well. Enough. And, the, you know, the, the cabinets are nice, and the color yeah. of the cabinets are kind of a personal thing. If mm -hmm. you decided you wanted them lighter and darker. It's electric. Yeah. Uh -huh. And now you do a lot of cooking, too, right? Yeah. Or you like right. to? Okay, because this is a nice, good-sized kitchen here. Yeah, well, it's pretty handy. Open. Got... Mm -hmm. The dining area over here. Mm -hmm. And then over here what they have that's a little different is um, the bar area, yeah. you know, yeah. which you don't see. And if you don't want to have people dining in there, you this can, can open up to anything. You've got the pass-through on the here. bar here yeah. where people can sit mm -hmm. and have dinner. And if you want to have a formal party and have a bartender, you've got the wet sink and everything here to do it with mm -hmm. another fireplace. This is the first bedroom, the front bedroom. And I think it's charming. This house was built in 1951, and it has the wooden doors and the closets, mm -hmm. you know, have the little cupboard closets, which makes it kind of nice. Faces the street, but again, you don't get a lot of noise for that. It has yeah. some nice windows. Do you know about the floors? The floors too? under here, I understand from the other agent, are hardwood. This is the original part of the house, not an add-on, and he just chose to put carpet under mm -hmm. here. So if you wanted to take it up and have it polished, it actually could there be very beautiful. The yeah. original hardwood under It's kind of a personal choice. One of Nancy's primary goals is to find a home with a nice backyard for her dog, Autumn. But it has your roses that you have at your other mm -hmm. house, you know, so you've got a nice little garden here yeah. around the perimeter. Although this house has several nice features, the bedrooms are small and there is no room for a separate home office. So Nancy decides to continue her search and the trio moves on to the next home. The landscaping's nice out here. Yeah, got, it's got a nice big window. Yeah, the window's pretty. I like the paint, yeah. It's got a really nice The curb appeal of this house gives Nancy a good first impression. But will the rest of the house live up to it? So let's start in the living room. The, yeah. There's a beautiful pull-out back. It has a great little eat-in kitchen. All the cabinets have been... The cabinets look like they're new. Yeah, they're very updated. And then you've got the little window over here, so you can sit and have your coffee in the morning. Yeah. And then, right out to the pool. Yeah. So here's the pool. What do you think? That's pretty. What's that over there? What they did was someone who lived here 
was a photographer, so they have a dark room with a sink and everything mm -hmm. in here. Oh, it can yeah. be converted to anything else. It oh, there is a sink, so yeah. there's water in mm -hmm. the and there's a little mm -hmm. shower. So let's go back and look in the, uh, the uh, den and the bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here's the bedroom in here. Mm -hmm. And it's got the nice shutters on the windows and everything. Yeah. Oh, Nancy is feeling the pressure to make a decision quickly. The real estate market is currently favoring sellers, and the homes that are priced in Nancy's range are in demand. So what did you think about the last house? It's an okay house. I really yeah. don't think it's going to be anything that is going to be right for me. Okay. Yeah. Um, Any particular things that you liked or didn't like? I was, I was bothered by the noise. Okay. I tend to be pretty sensitive to the noise. Okay. And the pool is just, you know, it'd be lovely if I had kids and or if I was somebody that really enjoyed swimming and I really don't, so for me that was more of a liability. Oh, okay, yeah. Since her house recently sold, she's feeling the pressure to quickly find something that will meet her needs. Along with her realtors, Lee Willoughby and Shelley Clark, Nancy is scouring neighborhoods looking for that one perfect house. So far, she has seen a few homes that would work in a pinch, but she's still looking for the one that really makes her feel at home. So is this neighborhood, this is a little bit... Well, this is a little uh, closer to where your old house yeah. was. So it's a little more familiarity, I think. This house right here, you can see, has just done a giant remodel. Mm -hmm. So as far as resale value, since you don't know where you'll be, you know, in a few right, years, Right, or how perhaps. long I'm going to stay exactly. in this house. This is a good yeah. option. And the house has some of the things that you said you specifically needed. Oh, it, it looks like there's a lot of trees. This is Ooh, nice. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the house has an office that's already Ooh. built in. That's already that's wired cool. for computers. Perfect. Oh, this is very pretty. Yeah, isn't it cute? It's got that, oh, it's got that charming, like, country yeah. feel to it, you know, with the landscaping. Yeah, that's the landscaping's really, pretty. really very charming. The trees surrounding this house are a welcome well, sight yeah. for Nancy, right. and she's getting excited about seeing the inside. And this one here has the hardwood floors again. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. Yeah, and I love, I love this room in here. This is my favorite part about it with the brick fireplace. I think the beams. Uh, I love this brick fireplace. Isn't this great? Yeah, it's got the little shelves. Yeah. The beams, everything is dark in here if you mm -hmm. want to lighten yeah, it, it needs, up. Mm -hmm. It certainly needs you, light. You could, it... you could paint it or you could put a different kind of skylight in it mm -hmm. if you wanted a little more light. It's nice here. You know, you yeah. can bring the food mm -hmm. through here. When you're serving, you've got people in here have your dining area in here and your chairs, so it could be very comfortable for you. One of Nancy's other requirements is that the home have a good kitchen for cooking, and this one has definite potential. The kitchens, to me, is like the original kitchens that spread out a little bit, mm -hmm. but you've got a lot of surfaces in different areas to mm -hmm. work with, so, you know, you have, it lends itself to a little diversity, and again, you know, when you buy a house like this, you're going to put your own touches on it if you wanted to make the cabinets lighter. The wood's a great honey color, but you know, yeah, it might it's not pretty. be you. But we want to go out and take a look at the office. We want Ooh, to see yes, that I part. think you'll really like that. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. On the way to see the home's built-in office, Nancy will get a look at the other big benefit to this house, a perfect backyard for her dog Autumn and the puppies she's expecting soon. It's just big enough for Autumn. And this what I think is going to be great for you. It has automatic sprinklers in here. Oh, wow, look at see, this. See, look at this. Seeing the built-in home office goes a long way towards selling Nancy on this house. So far, it's got every item on her list. All right, let's go in and look at the rest of it. Yeah. Okay. Nancy, it's a little tight here, so I want you to go in and take a look at the bathroom. Okay. And then we'll take a look at the bedrooms. Yeah, well, you wouldn't get lost in here, that's for sure. Okay, let's take a look at the master and see what you think about that. That nice window, mm -hmm. a view out to the front. But it is a pretty view out there. Yeah, I mean, looking pretty. at that tree, I like that tree. Oh. Yeah, well, and having the big windows looking yeah. out in the front makes the room seem a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay. The only drawback so far is the relatively small size of the home's yeah. bedrooms. Okay. Yeah. Want to take another look around? Yeah. Okay. So, well, we just take a little look around. Yeah. I know we've seen a lot today, so yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and try and get your thoughts. As to it's what kind you of like? Blurring a little bit. Okay, look we'll around. Just step over here. Okay. okay, we'll wait for you. Okay. This is a really nice little house. 
I like the outside. It's really nice and comfortable. When I when I came in, it felt yeah, it really felt kind of like home. And I like the wood. I like all the warm wood tones in the kitchen and in the in the den with the rafters. It's a little bit small and narrow in some of the rooms, and so I'm not real sure how my furniture would go in here. But overall, I really kind of like it. You know, the office space I can really use where I would have had to use a bedroom in another house. So, yeah, definitely gotta think about this one. Perfect. Yes, so. Oh, cute. What do you think? I like this one. Yeah, the air's good. Feels yeah, good. yeah well, it's nice. Well, it's just quiet. And it's a beautiful night out, too. Yeah. So far, this house feels right, but it's a big decision to make. So Nancy decides to sleep on it and makes plans to meet with Lee the following day to discuss her decision. So now that you've had time to think it over, well, what do you think? I think we better grab that one that's, um, yeah, that last the last one, one we yeah, saw. I think so because it's, you know, it's at the price that that you're works comfortable with, and okay. that um, it's got the basic requirements. And okay, I like it. Okay, so perfect. It's... Perfect. Okay, so um, we know it's only been on the market a day. Yep. So we're going to have to offer pretty close. Mm -hmm. So we're going to offer. Yeah. Three percent less. Yeah. Do you say so you're That's, comfortable yeah, with that? I am. Okay. So um, you want to go ahead and write them? Yep. I guess so. Let's take the plunge. Okay. Knowing the house would probably sell quickly, Nancy offered close to the seller's asking price. As it turns out, that was a smart move. Much to her relief, her offer was accepted the very next day. Barely two months later, Nancy has settled into her new house and is starting to feel at home. It feels really, really wonderful to be in this space. I'm just so happy with it. I can't believe that I was lucky enough to find this and to be able to do what I did with it, because it just feels comfy. Feels like me. Nancy's dog Autumn and her puppies also seem to be feeling at home. Since Nancy moved into her house, she's been busy making lots of changes. Oh, what a pretty house. <laughs> Work on the house was just completed a week ago, and already Nancy has visitors. Hi. I love your house. Thank you. Can we see the puppies? <laughs> yeah, you can see the puppies there outside. Your house is beautiful. Thank you. I like it. It's a lot of fun now because the place is really pretty much done. And now it's really great because they're coming by to see it. And so I can go around and show them how proud I am, show them everything I did. Nancy has worked hard to bring her own taste and style into the decor. And her personal touches can be found all over the house, especially in the kitchen. Oh, what a beautiful floor. Yeah, and this great, oh, this I just is love lovely. the floor. Oh, it's a gorgeous it's floor. Tile, but it's just, I love the yes, I did that, I did the counters. Wonderful, it's really so. It's no simple task to buy a home on your own. But for Nancy, the rewards far outweigh the drawbacks. Here, pride of ownership is evident in every room. In the living room, Nancy found an ideal arrangement for her furniture, and it only took a fresh coat of paint and some new tile to bring the room perfectly in line with her cozy and casual style. It's been kind of an interesting journey going from a bigger place to a smaller place. And in fact, one of the things I like about this house is it just feels cozier. It feels more intimate somehow. In less than eight weeks, oh, yeah. Nancy found, financed, and redecorated a house and did it all on her own.